I was given this controller for free because apparently the trigger didn't work. But when I took it apart, I found that someone raged the thumbstick so hard it actually cracked the board. I fixed many controllers in the past, but this is definitely new to me. I kind of have a feeling that the analog stick is holding the board together, so let's go ahead and remove it and see what happens. And sure enough, after removing the analog stick, the board just splits into two pieces. Normally I would just throw this out, but I kind of wanted to see if repairing it was even possible. First we have to glue the two halves back together before we can start the rework process. I tried using super glue at first, but it wasn't enough, so I had to use some epoxy instead. This worked out for the better though, as epoxy is a lot stronger than super glue. Since this is a two layer board, it makes the rework a bit easier. If this was a four layer board, I might not even have attempted this. All we have to do is manually reconnect all the traces that were broken when the board was broke. To do this, you have to scrape away the solder mask to reveal the copper, then we can add solder to that copper and from there use wire to reconnect the traces. There are quite a few broken edges, but I feel like this is manageable. So after about 30 minutes of trace scraping and 30 gauge wire jumping, I was finally to the point where the replacement stick could be added. This is what the board looks like so far. If I had a microscope camera, I would have shown more of the etch repair action, but since this video isn't sponsored by Honey or Raycon, I don't have that YouTuber money yet, so I couldn't buy one. After adding the analog stick, I need to fix a few more traces. When I removed the original stick, I lifted up some pads. I feel like this may have been from the stress the board was under because I just lifted away with my soldering iron. I was able to show these repairs once I found a good angle for my camera and my microscope. It's definitely tedious work, but if this works, it'll be worth it. And if it doesn't work, then this video won't be uploaded, so if you're hearing this, that may be a good sign. I tried to route all my wires in relation to the trace pattern, but I did have to get creative with a few of them to avoid shorts. After all the soldering was done, I used isopropyl alcohol to clean up all the flux. I had to be really careful with my brush strokes as I didn't want to rip up any of the wire. So 
after all that rework is done, we can plug it in and see that it actually turns on. We can further test it by using the controller app and by playing a game. I'm not too sure what I'll do with this board, but it's really cool that it's working again. So next time you die in Fortnite, maybe go for a walk instead of abusing your controller. But if you do abuse your controller, to the point of splitting it in two that is, this video stands to show that it may be repairable. That's it for this video, let me know in the comments below if you like this type of video and what you'd like to see next time. Thanks for watching.